Okay, hi YouTube. So, I took my crochet braids out. And I'm going to put them right back in. So, right now, I am pre-pulling my hair. And I'm going to just show you real quick what I'm... It's already on there. And this is just what I use to put all my stuff in. And I just use... I do something different every time. I don't always do the same thing, but I always use oils. Um, a couple different oils. A conditioner. And that's it. Sometimes I'll do honey with the oils and the conditioners. Honey just gives my hair an extra shine. But I'm not, I don't need that this time because I'm going to braid it back up. But I just used a deep conditioner. I'm trying this new line. Um, beautiful textures. The last time I went to get this, um, I wanted to get the Butter Whip. And they said that at the beauty supply store, they said that they had completely ran out and they cannot keep it on the shelf. And I think that was because they were, they had buy one, get one free or buy one, get one 50% off or something like that. So I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've heard mixed reviews about it. So I wanted to try it. This is just the Rapid, Rapid Repair um, Deep Conditioner. And then um, I put in olive oil and castor oil. So that's all I'm... Um, pre pouring with today and I'm gonna just let this sit for about 30 minutes and then I'm, I'm anxious to get started so I can get done so I don't want this to be a all night process and I'm attempting to do my um, crochet braids myself this time want to do a quick limb check I had completely forgot what my hair looks like it's awfully fine so when I had that all that big hair on my head and then back to reality with this fine hair. I was like, uh. That's how long my hair is in the front. I guess it comes all the way down to my nose. And that's not evenly in the front. And I probably do need my ends trimmed. I'm going to trim them. After I rinse this stuff off. Just trim my ends a little bit. And so the pre pool basically just helps lift up all the um, residue and build up on my hair and then it just protects my hair from when I'm going to shampoo. I do use shampoos with sulfate in it. I'm not scared to use shampoos with sulfate in it. Sulfate can be drying. Everybody's hair is different. But after I do my oils and deep conditioner and all that, it's fine. I've never had a problem using shampoo with sulfate ever. That's this side. Last time I did a link check, it was right at my brow bone. So, I mean, we got a little bit of growth. I'm not really big on um, lint checks, but I actually forgot in that three weeks what my hair looks like. So, I'm going to try to do this side. So I'm doing this more for me guys than anything else. And my hair is super fine. I had a ton, a ton, a ton of shedding when I took those crochet braids out. But I'm going to put them right back in. I'm going to leave them up for them. I'm going to try to leave them up for another, you know, for three weeks. I have to travel to Phoenix this month, so like in two weeks, and then I have to travel there again in April. So having a protective style on my trip I think will be good. So I'm at least having it for, for my trip in March. I don't know about April because it's late April. And, I would have probably taken these down and then just go back to my hair. So anyway, I just wanted to pop in, guys, just to say hi and then show you my hair. And I'm going to put it right back up so the next video you see, my hair will be back in the um, crochet braids. I got the same kind of hair, the Marley braids. Um, what else? I said I got a cold, so I sound crazy. And um, 
I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So my birthday is April 1st. And um, so that's coming up. And I'm going to do a birthday giveaway. So I'll make a video at some point in the next um, day or two to um, talk about the giveaway. Because I wanted to go at least a couple of weeks. And April 1st, I think, is in a couple of weeks or maybe three weeks. I don't know. So, anywho, guys, that's all I got. And I'm finna go rest this out. And I'll be back.